What do you think, Doc? Does she got it bad? Ma'am, I won't lie to you. This one's got it real bad. I'm so cold. This is exactly what I feared. Let's give her 90 Fahrenheit of heat. But it's already 80 degrees. Mrs. Gibson, do you want to see your daughter live or not? I do, Doctor. It's just that she was hot only a minute ago. Look, we have to keep her in a constant state of happiness, no matter how silly this seems. Tell me, Mrs. Gibson, is she eating? Yes. She takes pictures of her food at every meal. That's good. That's good. I look hideous. I have homework due tomorrow. I just can't deal with this right now. <laughs> this isn't good. Does she have any social anxieties or learning disorders? Yes. We invented one for her when her mask started to get hard. Excellent. We can use that to our advantage. Kayla, this is not your fault. Do you hear me? Nothing has ever been your fault. She's losing it. Oh, oh my god. Can you do her homework for her? Yes. Except for the math. Turns out our whole family has the same disability. Damn it. Do what you can, I guess. But make her believe that she did it. Kids with millennialitis need to think that they know everything. I'm so tired. I like literally haven't slept in a hundred years. She's exaggerating way more than usual. This means she needs coffee. She's never not had coffee. Then we need to lower her back down. Does she smoke? She vapes. You're a good mom, Mrs. Gibson. I'm sorry, mommy. Oh my God. My baby said I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't touch her, Mrs. Gibson. Millennials never apologize for anything unless they want something. Mrs. Gibson, I'm sorry, but this might be the end for her. Oh, doctor, is there anything I can do? Maybe. Post a Facebook page and ask for people's thoughts and prayers and hope to God you get enough likes. Mom? Mom, why are you ignoring me? Why is everybody being so salty to me? Do you even care that I'm dying? I hate you! Ugh! Oh. oh my god. Is she dead? She's super dead. Just like every other millennial who hasn't been given attention for even a second. She died of being an asshole. Oh, doctor. I can't help but feel this is somehow my fault. I too have that feeling. Wait a minute. I have good news, Mrs. Gibson. It looks like your daughter's not dead after all. Oh my god, my baby's gonna make it. She is. Just let this tantrum run its course. She'll be back on her feet in a few hours. Oh, thank you, doctor. Thank you. What would I have done without you? Nothing, Mrs. Gibson. You wouldn't have done a goddamn thing. Not a goddamn thing.